Hi, Derek. Welcome to the Oilers. Well, uh, how are you feeling about this about this move? Uh, where do you think you'll fit in with the team here, and, and what do you think you can add? Uh, yeah, I feel I feel pretty good about this move. Um, I know that uh, the Oilers are playing really well right now. They won five straight, and um, yeah, I think I can bring uh, some experience. I played the. Uh, I think 116 or 17 playoff games the last few years. And uh, I'll just try to bring my experience with that. And uh, um, yeah, I've been playing pretty good. I know that I was hurt for uh, two or three months this year, but uh, I like, I like the way I was playing and uh, I'm going to try to bring it, uh, you know, the same way with the Oilers. Tell me about that playoff experience. And obviously the Oilers acquired Duncan Keith in the summer and his experience was a, was a big part of making that move as well. When you get into those games and, and in a sense, there, you know, there's some pretty tense games right now to, to clinch a spot. Uh, you know, how, how does that experience help? Uh, you know, what do you see yourself doing to, to maybe help lead a little bit in, in the postseason? Yeah. Well, I think the first thing we got to do is to, to get in. Right. Uh, uh, we, like I said, I think the, uh, our team has been playing pretty good and, uh, we just got to make sure that we keep going in that direction, uh, trying to, to find a spot in the playoffs. And after that, I think the experience, I think it's just to be, uh, comfortable in every situation, you know, like you said, at this time of the year, the games are pretty intense. Um, and this, your, your, your season's on the line and everything like that. And I think that's, uh, um, that's that's how you. Uh, I think as a player, you can you can take advantage of that, and uh, I think uh, I could be a good fit on that team. They've been, uh, you know, they had uh, Evander uh, probably a, a month from now, and uh, you know Brett Kulak uh, a few hours ago. Uh, I think the team's in the right direction, and I think we uh, we have a chance to win. And uh, do you know when you're going to play your first game as an Oiler? Uh, I think that plan is for Thursday as right now. Um, I, I just played the three games in three and a half days with the Flyers. Basically, uh, we were going on a 10 day road trip and, uh, basically on, on my way, to, on my way to the airport, I was like leaving my place here. Um, uh, I got a text from, uh, from the GM and, uh, um, and yeah, I just, uh, I think the plan is, uh, the guys are playing tomorrow in Dallas and, uh, I think I'm flying to Edmonton tomorrow. Thank you. Next question, Daniel Nugent Bowman, the athletic, go ahead, Daniel. Hi, Derek. You're, you're obviously a guy who's played on a few different teams now. I'm just curious, um, how the adjustment changes as you get older. And, and obviously as you, you, you know, you're going to miss a couple of games here. So you'll have 18, 18 games. You'll have to hit the ground running. How um, does it get easier with, with age to trying to kind of get acclimated to a new team? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, uh, when I was playing for the Rangers, uh, I came really close to win the cup. Uh, I think two or three years. And uh, I've been trying to chase, uh, basically chase the a team, right? So I have a, good opportunity to, to win the Stanley cup. And, uh, you know, I signed with the Flyers this year. I thought we got, we got to have a really good team and have a chance. And, uh, like everyone know, uh, I think it's a pretty tough year for, for the, for the team here in Philly. And, uh, and now I, yeah, I think I see the opportunity in, in Edmonton being really good, having two, probably the two of the best players in the world on our team. And, um, but I think we're, we're a complete team. We have four lines that can play. Um, we have a, we have a really good back end and our goalie has been doing the job as well. So, um, it's been tough the last few years going from team to team. Um, that's something obviously at four years old, I'm not, you know, really looking for that. Uh, but at the same time, I'm looking for an opportunity to win. And I think, uh, with the Oilers, I'm going to have that chance. I was going to ask about that because you just saw the Oilers pretty pretty recently a couple of weeks ago, and I, I wonder what you uh, what you maybe saw from that team, even if it was one game, or what you've noticed from afar uh, about them, and how you could maybe um, fit in to, to to help them kind of get over the the, the top here. Yeah, they beat us three nothing when they came here in Philly, and I thought their their overall game, defensive game, the way they they were playing, they didn't give us much. Um, and I think it was like a difference from when we went to Edmonton early this season, and. Um, I, I, I've heard only good things about uh, the new coach. And, you know, I, I think the, the record, it kind of speaks for themselves, you know, winning five games in a row and being on the road right now. 
I think the guys are buying in and uh, is in in his new system and then the way he's operating things and uh, yeah, it's just it's it's a tough league. There's a lot of good teams. We saw it today. There's a lot of trades and I, 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 every every matchup's gonna be it's gonna be hard and uh, uh, I feel confident in our in our team and our dressing room. We have a lot of a lot of experience and um, yeah, I just I'm I'm looking forward to coming to Edmonton and and play uh, and play good for the team. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate it. Thank you. We have no more questions in English. We'll take a couple in French. Uh, Patrick Henry, Radio Canada, go ahead. Salut, Derek. Bienvenue à Edmonton. Um, Tari, ta approche du 1000 match, tu es dans 936. Ton rôle a changé au cours des années, depuis, uh, surtout depuis tes débuts. Quel rôle tu te vois jouer avec les Oilers? Qu'est-ce que tu peux leur apporter d'ici la fin de la saison? Uh, je me vois uh, comme un comme un, un attaquant dans, dans le bottom six. Uh, uh, ici, avec les Flyers, quand, quand j'ai signé au début de l'année uh, avec Alain Vigneault, uh, il voulait m'utiliser un peu comme son rover, un peu comme uh, uh, jouer sa troisième ligne ou sa quatrième ligne, dépendamment. Puis, uh, je suis capable de jouer uh, en avantage numérique. Et je suis aussi capable, uh, dépendamment s'il y a des blessures ou uh, des fois, tu sais, c'est, c'est des longues saisons, des fois, les lignes ne cliquent pas. Donc, uh, euh, ici, j'ai l'opportunité de jouer avec, euh, avec des joueurs qui sont dans le top 6. Euh, puis ça va être à moi de, de, de jouer, de, de bien jouer pour avoir l'opportunité. Mais je, je me vois euh, comme un attaquant qui va jouer dans le bottom 6. Puis euh, essayer d'amener euh, un peu l'offensive. Puis euh, essayer d'amener euh, une bonne intensité. Puis essayer de, d'amener la passion que j'ai pour la, pour la game. Puis euh, c'est que quand tu rentres dans les séries, je pense que c'est ça qui t'amène. C'est, c'est, c'est les gars qui jouent avec le plus d'émotion, la passion, le vouloir, le vouloir de gagner, le vouloir de gagner à la Coupe Stanley. Donc, je vais essayer d'amener ça avec les Oilers. À quel point tu penses que ton expérience en série a joué dans la décision des Oilers de, de faire ton acquisition aujourd'hui? Ah, je pense ouais, qu'il faudrait demander à eux autres, mais euh, oui, je pense que c'est pour ça qu'ils m'ont amené. Puis, euh, j'ai tout le temps bien joué dans, euh, dans le hockey des séries. Puis, euh, je vais, essayer de, je vais essayer d'amener ça. C'est sûr, comme je le disais en anglais, il euh, n'y a, a, a pas de match-up facile. C'est toutes des bonnes équipes qui rentrent. Puis, euh, euh, j'ai, juste, j'ai juste hâte d'arriver à Edmonton puis de, de rencontrer mes nouveaux coéquipiers et de jouer le premier match jeudi. Euh, puis je pense que même samedi, c'est déjà, ça va être mon, mon premier test de la, la bataille de l'Alberta. Donc, euh, ça, devrait être, ça devrait être bon. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Thank you. If there are no more questions, Derek, this concludes your media availability. Thank you, Derek, for joining us. Thank you, media. Thank you.